Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at some really important iPhone settings that I believe no iPhone user should ever turn on on their device. Of course, in order to have a better experience with your device, protect your privacy and your data while using your iPhone. Now, the first one of them will be under the notification settings. So head on to your settings, go under notifications and right here you will find a section that says screen sharing. As you know, on iOS, you will have a feature where you can share your screen using FaceTime. But what this does is that it displays everything that's on your screen. And if you have this on, it will also display your notifications, whether that be maybe messages, something private, maybe like an email or something like that. You don't want that to be displayed and shared on other people's devices. What you want to do is make sure that you have the setting turned off. The next one will be under the notes settings. So head on to your notes here and just scroll down and you will find here saved photos. Now with the notes app, you can of course take pictures that you can save within your notes. But what this does is that if you have it turned on, it will automatically also save those photos on the photos app. So you have them already on your notes. You can also save them on your photos app that way they will take twice the space on your device so you don't want that to happen make sure you have this turned off right here now something that i, I know a lot of people are really annoyed by is all the like different suggestions that apple will give you once you try sharing something on your device so on the share sheet you will see a lot of suggestions there maybe someone you don't want to see there so to stop that from happening, simply go to your settings, go under Siri and search, and then you will have here suggestions from Apple. You can turn it off right here. So you can see, show when sharing, all those suggestions will be turned off once you have the setting turned off right here. Now, one setting that I think every iPhone user must have turned off is rise to wake. Now, it's maybe a cool feature. It will wake the screen of your iPhone once you pick it up from a desk or take it out of your pocket, but that will also consume a ton of battery. So what you wanna do is head onto your settings, display and brightness, and right here we'll find Rice Wake. Make sure you have that turned off as well. Now lately with iOS 16.5 or 16.4, I believe, Apple has added a new feature here under the battery settings. You go to battery and then you go to battery health and charging, and you will have here clean energy charging now what this does is that it will just basically selectively charge your iphone what just try to reduce your carbon footprint and only when like low emission electricity is available it will then charge your iphone so that way if you just need your iphone to be charged real quick this will prevent it from happening so make sure you go ahead and turn the setting off a setting that apple has also lately added to the live activities is the most more frequent updates section so if you go to an app that supports that like the tv app here go under live activities you will have more frequent updates so basically for apps like sports apps like the tv app from apple it will update the live activity more frequently on your lock screen but that will drain the battery of your iPhone and it even says it right here. So I would suggest that you, if you don't really, really need this, make sure you have it turned off. Now, one mistake I see a lot of people make on their iPhone and then they wonder why they don't have enough storage on their iPhone is downloading podcasts locally on their device. Podcasts will just take a ton of space on your device. So head on to your settings, go to podcasts, and to prevent that from happening, just make sure you have this turned off right here, and then you will have here automatically download, keep it off right there, and you're good to go. Now, podcasts no longer will be downloaded into your device. You can just go ahead and listen to them online without having to take a ton of storage on your iPhone. Next up, we're moving here under accessibility and then moving here to Siri. We have some really important settings here. First of all, we'll be right here. Always listen for the hey word. This will just consume a ton of battery on your iPhone and most likely will trigger Siri a lot of times by accident. Having this enabled, Siri will be listening for that word all the time. 
when it's in your hand when it's on your desk maybe even in your pocket siri will be listening for that command that way you can see right there it goes off that way it actually consumes a ton of battery now we have another setting right here under the siri settings announce notifications on speaker if you have this turned on and you have your iphone connected to a speaker siri will announce the notifications you probably don't want that to happen. You don't know what kind of notification you're getting. So make sure you have this turned off as well. Another thing here under the accessibility settings that I suggest you don't keep turned on unless you really need the feature voice control. Now, if you have it turned on, voice control will be active all the time, always waiting for your commands in order to do something on your device so if you don't really use this make sure you always have this turned off on your iphone now when it comes to the privacy of your iphone apple of course always does a lot of great things for their users of course the privacy on the iphone is probably the number one thing so one of the features that apple has added to ios is tracking so apps tracking no app will actually be able to track you if you don't allow them. So go to tracking right here and you will have a list of all the apps that you have on your device that have requested to track you. You can go ahead and just completely turn them off one by one. Just go ahead and check this. Most people probably have these off, but sometimes when you install an app on your device, you will get a ton of pop-ups for tracking, for notifications and Bluetooth and things like that maybe you don't notice that you're doing it but you have maybe allowed an app to track you you don't want that to happen make sure you have these turned off all of them the next one i suggest everyone turns off i don't know this setting is just kind of weird you go to settings location services and right here under system services you will find significant locations so let me just get here so what this feature does it will basically keep a track here keep a history of the places you visit more frequently i don't know what the point to that feature is but you probably don't want that to happen what if your iphone gets in someone's other hands maybe someone that shouldn't have your iphone will have access and see all the locations you visit frequently you don't want that to happen most likely so go ahead and turn significant locations off from here Another thing I wouldn't do on the iPhone, another setting that I suggest you also turn off is the location, the precise location to access to any of the apps that you have on your device. Don't ever give any app precise location. So you can see right now we have here a lot of like different options. So never, of course, that is the offsetting. But for a lot of apps, you will need location. Maybe you want them to have your location but not the precise location. So you will have here a few different options. So in this case for Instagram, and this will be for most social media apps, you will have ask, ask next time or when I share, and then you will have here while using the app, and then you have always. But right here will also have another thing called precise location. So this allows the app to really have your precise location on the map know always where you're at precisely so make sure you have this turned off for all of your apps now when it comes to your iphones of course batteries are really important you want to make sure that you have enough battery to get through the day and don't have to recharge your iphone a lot of times during the day so when it comes to this of course the battery one of the things that will have a lot of impact are vibration the vibrating motor on your iphone will consume a ton of battery so what i would do go to sounds and haptics here and just scroll all the way down and then you will have here play haptics in ring mode and play haptics in silent in my case i keep both of them turned off but you might want to have this turned off so when you have your iphone on silence you will of course have the haptics but you don't really need haptics when your iphone is ringing so make sure you go ahead and turn off this setting and for the last one we're moving under the app store settings and right here we'll find app downloads if you have this enabled what it will do is that any app that i install in this case i install an app on my iphone it will automatically install it on all of my devices i might want to have that app only on the iphone i will have to find all the other devices find the app and delete it 
on the other devices. So this will basically be better for you, better for your privacy if you have like a lot of devices and maybe other people have access to them, like maybe an iPad or something like that. You don't want your apps to show on every device. Make sure you have the setting turned off right here. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you find this helpful. If you do, leave a like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I will see you on the next one.